One in four of us has a mental health problem. And if it's not you, then it's most likely somebody you know. Our young minds should be saved at the hands of our NHS, but all too often, they're not. We are not getting the support we need. We are not getting the care we deserve. Join me when I talk to real people with real answers and real comments to a camera. Trapped, suppressed, lost, confused, ignored, ridiculed, slandered, abused. People with mental abused. health problems struggling to get support they need. Services within Kirtley's and Collardale have seen a £20 million real cut cost in the last six years. Misunderstood, unwanted, unloved, cast aside. I'm ugly, unattractive, lonely. Slowly forgetting how to live, how to breathe. I'm suffocated. Ashamed, disillusioned, worthless, faithless, suicidal. Ignorant, foolish, pathetic, fearful and terrified. So much suffering caused by all the emotions I have to hide. The times when I have smiled, they haunt me in the photographs. The times when I was young, they haunt me in my mirror. The times that I was loved, they haunt me each and every way they can. All of the colours have turned to black. I remember so fondly the times when they were grey. Sweet calm, wash away this thick sludge, the remnants of a congealed and rotted soul. All light vanquished within the smother of darkness, forcing colours to fade to black, leaving me longing for the times when they were grey. I can no longer feel your touch. Yet I would suffer every single blow again, just to feel something. Rapid, painful strokes of sanity flash from the abyss. And your life is flickering. Well, I think it's disgusting, there's no help. You can ring as many numbers as you want and no one wants to know. Yeah. At all. You can go to your, well, you can get a phone call appointment, but no. Then that really, really hard. Trying know. for it, yeah. Yeah. No one wants to know. Yeah. No room, no beds, no, no medication, passion. no this, no that. What else can you say? It's just disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Would well, you have any advice for anybody who was young? Oh. Get help as soon as you can. Yeah. As soon as you can, because the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. In my experience, and I've been there and done that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking to you. Same to you, yeah. Jamie. Beechwood Park, as I've been in it a few times, and I've, I've talked to some lads who've been depressed and everything. Yeah. And the way that they have told me about how they. He's grown social service. Oh. 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 And it's, uh, it's, it's best to get in this park, come and talk to someone. Two. You know, yeah. don't keep it in yourself. <laughs> I've had bad times. Those are yeah. right. But, oh, no. like, uh, if anything, go talk to Andy's man club or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Any advice should get to any young people that are suffering mental health? <laughs> it's 
it's difficult coming from Bolton and I think we realise that not everything is as important as you make out all the time. Okay. And there are ways out of things. But when you're of that age, you can't see any way out. You've got to talk to people. Why us old folk survive is because we come in here and we have a chat. Yeah. And I think we do appreciate just somebody to listen to. Yeah. Well, the pandemic hasn't helped that, has it? Not really, but I, I would say that the government have not really put the foot down in here. Yeah. And that's it. That's really it, mate. We've got to talk to people. Uh, not necessarily the specialists are out like that because yeah. at the end of the day, Hello. they get paid. <laughs> they get paid. And I don't think a lot of people need the people who've been paid as a job. They need to talk to people who are just friendly. Yeah. Uh, realise that there are people who can help. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Okay, no problem. I know guys, I'm looking for comments about mental health services in the UK. Have you ever had any experiences? No, like we haven't. Or we think that they need more money put into them? Or? I think they do, yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, time. No, I mean, I, I don't want to be discussing things personally, no. on a personal level. No. I was just... Good luck with it. Yeah, good luck with everything. If you say think people need more money on it, you can just say that. No, no, I've not been discussing it at all with anybody no, or I've not brought it up with council, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to have to... <laughs> but, yeah, good luck good, with everything. Good luck with it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. What do you think about the mental health services within Calderdale? I don't know particularly because I've never been mentally ill, but I've met a lot of people and I'm struggling to come down and I'm really struggling. Holly Lynch has taken a good approach to mental health services. I wouldn't know because I've never been mentally ill, but I have I've actually been out with a, a girl that worked at um, uh, Halifax Hospital. Yeah. Top nurse. Uh, and she says it's getting rife. Yeah. I think there's a lot of drugs about at the moment. Yeah. And antisocial behaviour locally as well. Do you agree? Sorry? Antisocial behaviour locally. Will it, you? It's, it's done rife. Yeah. It's mental. It's yep. unbelievable and nobody cares, everybody's just locked lock, lock themselves in their own houses. Yep. Um, any advice you'd give to young people with mental health or um, people for mental health? Uh, mental health issues are brought through with drugs and alcohol, but some people just have mental health issues. I haven't got any thinking because I'm not qualified to do that. Yep. Okay. And the other thing is, is mental health issues need to be addressed because some people just need that. They're up bottom separate ladder and they need to go up that ladder and once they're there, it, they'll all disappear. Yeah. This lockdown has depressed a lot of people. It's like being back in war. Yeah. It's all it's awful. It's awful. And I and I and I have a good living and yeah. I'm fed up. I'm sat down here yeah. talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trust it, put it in it. Yeah, thank you for talking to us, mate, and appreciate it. No problem. We're in Crossley's football rugby ground today and I'm just wondering on what you think about the mental health services within Calderdale and the UK and do you find them approachable? Uh, do you ever see anybody with mental health that locally that needs to part on waiting lists or anything like that? Nope. Do you think Holly Lynch is taking a good approach towards mental health services? Yeah, she's trying. Have you got any advice for young people that are suffering with mental health? No, not really. What do you say? They've just got to sort of try and look forward, haven't they? That's all they can do, isn't it? Yeah. What about people with learning disabilities that have been put on waiting lists for a long time? Do you find it in... I don't know. It's a shame if they're on for a long time. I mean, they need help over there. Okay. So, I don't know. Do you think the council's doing a good job with mental health at the moment? I don't know much about it, to be honest. <laughs> that we don't know. There's a lot of antisocial behaviour problems around here, isn't there? I have no idea. Yeah. I don't get out and about, but not, anyway. not, not late at night. Yeah. Mental health problems. Yeah. 
don't start when you're in yeah, A&E. They don't start when you're stuck on a waiting list. Or when your GP tells you you're ill enough. Or when your teacher turns around and tells you you've been disrupted. Disruptive, destructive mental health problems ain't just about social media or just about exams or just about local youth clubs closing down or things going on what in your family you don't wish to talk about mental health is about everything that happens to us we do need more money to our nhs services and we need more support in our schools we need to look after each other's mental health and make sure when everybody asks for support they get it when they need it this is freedom fighter and let's fight for that change